Hey everybody, Reds fan 1979 coming back at you with a special baseball card video. Hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. The Cincinnati Reds are just doing amazing. Um, they now have won six games in a row. They beat up on the White Sox last night, which was a big surprise. And um, a lot of strikeouts against some of the White Sox top hitters. So pretty impressed with that. The Reds are now at 500. They've got eight games left. Um, I think they need to win like five of the last eight to have a chance, but I'm really hoping they can um, keep up their stride get into the final count. So uh, for this video, I um, wanted to do just a quick little recap. I'm going to meet uh, Triple Crown 24. A lot of you guys know him on YouTube. He's down in the North Cincinnati area. going to be meeting him at a card show tomorrow in North Cincinnati. Decided I would turn in uh, three cards for the... Um, for his uh, PSA submission. Um, I'm doing them under the value uh, modern category. Um, I already sent eight cards to Dustin Bellinger for his group, so I figured I'd give both groups a try. Um, so we've got three cards here up to 2016. The first is this really nice Fernando Tatis Jr. Um, yes, it's just the paper, but it's in really, really nice condition. I couldn't find anything on the corners. Now, the centering of these cards, I'm not sure, but it looks pretty good. I don't see anything missing with any logos. Um, there's the back of the card. Even with the black, uh, the corners look, you know, pretty good. Um, so, we'll see. I mean, even in a 9, this card would be great, but a, a PSA 10 would be amazing. I'm not sure. Um, I'm giving it a 50-50 chance of getting a, a 9 or a 10. So anyways, that's the first one. Second one is this really nice Kyle Lewis 2016 Bowman Draft Chrome Prospects. First, this is the first Chrome of Kyle Lewis. Very highly sought after card. I bought this for a dollar on Blowout Forum sale and they're now going for between $15 and $20 raw. But the surface looks great on this one. Um, the corners, again, look really nice. There's the back. <clears throat> so we'll see. Again, uh, a 9 would be great. A 10 would be amazing. Not sure. You know, PSA is grading a little more difficult now, so you just never know. Um, again, I think that one has a 50-50 chance. Um, and then my last card, one I made a trade for with a local guy here. This is just a really cool card, especially with the uh, increase in popularity of the Topps Gold cards, the flagship golds. This one is a little bit off-center. You know, it's a little thicker on the, the left and the right. But the corners are really nice and the edges and, um, and the surface. So I'm hoping to get a 9 on this. I just think it would look really, really nice slab for my Votto um super collection so those are the three cards that i'm going to be submitting filled out my paperwork here for triple crown 24 so we'll see um meet up with him tomorrow i hope you guys have a great weekend let me know what you guys think of these cards um what you think the grades might be if my you think my assessment is correct or not but you know again it's just an estimate we'll have to see what happens in reality so never know with psa they can be up and down so Hope you guys all have a great weekend and go Reds.